In this video, I'll guide you through the process of pruning climbing roses in autumn and explain why it's an essential step to prepare them for winter. It's a Sprouted Seeds YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Because climbing roses are not hardy enough, they require winter protection to avoid being harmed by cold temperatures. Young, flexible shoots make it much easier to bend the branches toward the ground during this covering process. Working with older branches becomes more difficult as they lose their flexibility. Additionally, over time, disease and pests tend to accumulate on older branches, which can persist through the winter and spread in the spring. Also, the bush can become thick, which lowers air circulation and raises the risk of disease, particularly in damp environments. A thick bush receives less sunlight, which can lead to sparse blooming. Methods of pruning. 1. Leave only one year or two year shoots in the bush. This technique is more suitable for cold regions where roses need shelter. By removing older wood, we avoid dealing with tall, rigid stems that are harder to cover during winter. 2. In warmer regions, it is possible to grow a climbing rose as a plant on the one stem. That is, you cut the side branches to a certain height, and then, for example, near the roof, you let the side young shoots grow to the sides. This causes this main shoot to become thick, old, and inflexible. In colder climates, older shoots are problematic, as they can be difficult to bend and lay down for covering. Pruning before pruning, you need to untie the shoots. So, to prepare a climbing rose for winter, we keep only one year or two year shoots. You need to prune other stems. This method simplifies the covering process and helps ensure the rose will bloom well in the spring. The more young shoots, the more flowers we'll see next season. You can distinguish one year shoots from two year shoots in this way. Two year shoots are a little thicker, less flexible, and darker. If there is a two year old shoot and a good one year old shoot grows on it, which will go to the arch in the right direction, then you can partially leave such a two-year-old shoot. One-year shoots, which we will leave, are pinched at the ends at the height you need. And from each bud after this procedure, you will get many young shoots from the same place. Choose the height yourself, depending on how high you can cover for the winter or depending on the height of your arch. We need to achieve abundant flowering by pinching annual shoots this year or in the spring of next year. Carefully bundle the remaining shoots and tie them loosely with string, keeping some space between each stem for airflow. Allow the plant to stay in this state until the first significant frosts arrive, which is the ideal time for covering. If you cover the roses too early, they may become too warm and rot. Once the colder weather sets in, cover the rose bush with a protective material like burlap or a thick fabric, adding cardboard for added insulation. Keep in mind that the ideal pruning length for each gardener will depend on their specific arch or trellis size and local conditions. Pruning climbing roses is a creative process. I hope my video will help you to properly care for your roses.